and welcome to Garrity Talks. My name is Lucia Ongai and I am the co-founder of the Garrity Awards. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for our weekly episodes where we chat with some of the marketing and creative industries through change makers. I'm very happy today to welcome one of our ambassadors for this year's Garrity Jury in Romania, Ioana Gorganianu. She is the head of marketing and communication for Romania, Croatia, Israel, and the Balkan region at MasterCard. So welcome and thank you for being here today with us. Thank you very much. I'm uh, super happy to be here with you today. So Joanna, you joined the MasterCard team uh, in 2005 as marketing manager for Romania and Bulgaria and your responsibilities later extended to Europe's region. Can you tell us about more your role and your work? Thank you. Uh, yes, I am quite old in this company, although I'm not old uh, in spirit or even physically. Um, yeah, I started my career in MasterCard in 2005, uh, being the, the second um, uh, employee in this part of the world, in Southeast Europe, uh, that I never left. I have to tell you, even though I changed my, my roles multiple times, um, I um, coordinated different countries, different divisions on the marketing side. Uh, and I also played a part in the in the regional team, uh, B2B team in, in marketing at MasterCard. I never left this region. So I always lived here and I lived here very, very happily. Um, then uh, last year, I again changed my role. I embraced new responsibilities and I extended my role to, to become the head of marketing and communications for 10 markets, the whole area being named uh, Southeast Europe. Uh, and these markets are Albania, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Bulgaria, Croatia, Israel, Kosovo, Montenegro, North Macedonia, Romania and Serbia. And I set them all in alphabetical order. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and throughout this period, since 2005, I worked with probably the best people on earth. Um, I worked with uh, all sorts of nations, all sorts of characters, uh, all sorts of personalities. Uh, and I think that's the biggest gain uh, mm -hmm. that, I, that, I, that one could possibly have throughout such a, let's say, long career in one company only. Right now, my job is to coordinate our teams in building marketing and communications, um, local and regional uh, initiatives across the company's B to B to C business model. Uh, and this means that uh, we develop projects that promote benefits that digital payments bring to people's lives from safety and security to enabling fast and simple transactions from anywhere at any time. So in a nutshell, that's myself in MasterCard for the past 18 years. 18, wow, that's a lot of time. <laughs> and what would you say are today the biggest challenges that you face? Uh, uh, well, uh, if you had uh, asked these questions a couple of weeks ago, my answer probably would have been different right now. Uh, for me, the biggest challenge as we were discussing just minutes before we started, we started the interview is to live a peaceful life, to live a life in harmony. So above everything else, above corporations, products, services, solutions, consumers, brands, I think the humanity needs peace and harmony to prosper. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, you can uh, you can already understand that I'm a big fan of sci-fi. My favorite uh, movie series of all times is Star Trek, uh, both the old and the new versions. Uh, and I get inspiration. So again, this is the biggest uh, the biggest challenge that uh, that I think we are faced with as as human beings today. Uh, obviously, we maintain. Uh, the challenges which are innate to a corporation, uh, emerging technologies and accelerated digitalization in everyday life, uh, protecting the world we live in, 
um, the geopolitical context, these are probably the top three challenges that we that we are facing today as human beings. Mm -hmm. And how has your work changed with the development of new technologies? Uh, uh, briefly, for the better, definitely, because uh, I can uh, do everything uh, from, from the screen of my mobile phone. Um, but first, from a job logistics perspective, uh, I am, we, are, we all are, able to work more efficiently, I guess. Mm -hmm. There is this flexibility uh, in, the, in the work environment and the ecosystem. We are relying on technologies that allow us to connect across markets. Uh, so for me, the way that, that, uh, that um, um, new technology changed my way of working is I don't need to travel that much anymore, right? I can coordinate teams from across the globe. Obviously, time zone is a challenge, but mm. let's say that we can manage that challenge as well. Um, but I think I can meet my team face to face through technology a lot easier. We can have conversations, we can create projects together, we can have access to the same type of information at the very same time. Uh, and for me, this is the biggest the biggest way in which te technology changed my life. Uh, five years ago, we would focus greatly on debunking the myth related to digital payments and card fraud and so on. Uh, while we still do it in 2023, because there are still gaps to fill in uh, in terms of financial education nation nationwide. Today, we are more about supporting government authorities in their di digital in digitization expanding digital payments to local farmers markets which have been bound to cash until recently or mm. building solutions that that turn smartphones into uh, contactless terminals enabling small business to small businesses to to thrive so that's how i gave you my personal example uh, of how uh, technology changed my life but i also gave you an example of how technology changed humanity Hmm. and relationships in in uh, in between them and uh, talking about new technologies there are big debates around uh, technologies like ai and whether it will be helpful or harmful for creative and advertising industry and the work of creatives and people involved what is your opinion on it so working for a global technology company like mastercard uh, i can say for sure that the possibilities for for artificial intelligence are infinite with hundreds of capabilities across business and consumer applications and um, mastercard handles billions of transactions very quickly safely securely with the support of ai um, and we aim to solve next generation problems beyond payments if we look at the creative and advertising industry AI tools can facilitate the uh, horizontal distribution of, uh, of information and insights in, in near real time, increase speed and flexibility and, and streamline processes. And to give uh, just a few examples, uh, AI, uh, utilizing AI, the advertisers can identify and segment audiences a lot faster than before. They can build... Um, uh, creatives, creative ads, they can test ads, they can improve ad performance and optimize spend. Everything happens in nanoseconds, right? Obviously, I will not mention the consumer experience we can build uh, based on such technologies from storytelling to disruptive execution, uh, nothing less than, than priceless. Mm. Um, but beyond the 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 widest range of opportunities i think it and i stress this i think we need still to learn how to use ai in a responsible ethical transparent and reliable way and i think that's that's the key and actually that's that's the key of um, of many sci-fi books that i was mentioning uh, uh, i was mentioning before that's a challenge for for the writers actually as well back in the 80s and the 90s how to treat new technologies how to mm. regulate new technologies mm. Mm. 
which which is your favorite sci-fi book just a <laughs> curiosity <laughs> yeah one, one would say uh, foundation for sure because that's the foundation of uh, of of sci-fi but i i have many books i have many many favorite books i could not nominate one um, <laughs> okay. yeah and uh, sci-fi not before... fantasy just to be clear sci-fi okay. not fantasy Sci-fi, not fantasy. Okay. And as I mentioned in the beginning, you were one of the ambassadors this year for the Garrity Executive Jury in Romania. So tell us about that experience. Uh, yeah, it was, for me, the experience is split in two. So one is, is, um, is the work part in which you have to be focused, to pay attention to how you judge the work to understand the different specificities and uh, cultural insights that uh, those people built their, their creative work on. And I think this is the hard part. This is really the hard part. And you do it by yourself, right? You do it in a, in a very peaceful environment, very silent, when, when you are dedicated to understanding and appreciating the work that those people did. Um, but then there was the fun part where I, where I had the time of my life this year, uh, in which we put on the table uh, our thinking, um, our ideas, uh, we challenged each other, um, we met with one another, and uh, with some of some of the people that I've, I've I met during the summer, I also stayed friends. So I think it was a great opportunity to learn from other industry members to see how they think not only in this part of the world because what Gerety brought uh, is the globality mm. and I insist on that you you guys actually gave us access to a plethora of work that happened outside of our mindset right and I think that's the biggest gain for me and that's where I had the most fun mm. And what do you think of the of the campaigns and the work scene in general and the discussions that you had? Uh, the same, the same. Uh, I think um, uh, the discussions were very vivid. They were very senior discussions in in the sense that uh, everything was done with decency, with transparency. We spoke our minds. We didn't. Uh, uh, how you how you say it? We didn't beat around the bush, right? We were just saying what we were thinking, um, and uh, and we respected each other while doing so. Uh, and again, I see this as the foundation of a very healthy environment to judge things. Mm. So if if this criteria if if, if this criteria are not met meaning uh, respect, uh, decency, appreciation of one another, understanding of one another. I think there is no 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 judging. So that's what I thought about our discussions. And the, did you see like there was like a trend in the work or something that stood out or 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 a type of campaigns or a type of topics that you saw like mostly around the work? Yeah, um, I think every year brings in new new trends and uh, new buzzwords, obviously. This year's buzzwords were uh, around global issues such as climate change, refugees, immigration, diversity. Um, and I think it's good because uh, these are, these are the, not the trends, but these are the problems that we need to solve mm -hmm. also creatively, also as, as a community of, uh, of um, creative people and a community of, uh, of brands. Uh, but the level of creativity was nothing less than sharp uh, mm -hmm. in the sense that it was strategically connected to objectives and relevance and outcomes. So what I'm trying to say is that buzzwords were not used as buzzwords they were real problems real solutions to problems mm -hmm. that the brands or the people were having and that's what i've appreciated the most because buzzwords can come and go right these were not buzzwords these were not trends they 
I treat those things like climate change, refugees, immigration, war, diversity, health as real issues of, of today's world. Hmm. And uh, you were also invited to participate in the grand jury that chose four Grand Prix this year. Uh, what do you think about these campaigns chosen by the jury and why do you think they were awarded with a Grand Prix? Well, many of them answer basically to what you just said. Exactly, exactly. These campaigns were awarded because they were based on relevant issues that matter to people. Hmm. Uh, obviously, I did not agree with all. Obviously, I had my own uh, my own opinions, uh, but going back to what I was uh, answering to your previous question, it was through discussions, through listening to one to each other, through doing it with with a sense of uh, of respect and decency. That's how we came up with the best work, and I am convinced that the, the jury here really did a great job in in uh, in selecting the best work. Mm. And one of these Grand Prix was precisely for a MasterCard campaign, uh, Where yeah. to Settle by Macan Warsaw, that won in the work for good cut within the strategy media type. So first, congratulations. And uh, second, tell us a bit more about the campaign and your thoughts on it. <laughs> Uh, sure. First of all, the congratulations should go to uh, the team in Poland that I appreciate very much. Um, uh, my colleague um, Jerzy Holub was was the artisan of of, of this project. Um, obviously, together with the with the whole Polish uh, Polish team, both on the on the client side and also on the agency side. Um, so. We all remember remember those first weeks last year when the war broke out. People thought they were coming out of a pandemic and mm. an unprecedented health crisis uh, found themselves inside another unthinkable, horrific event and major crisis. Uh, except this one was not keeping people inside their homes, but running for their lives. MasterCard immediately mobilized efforts to assist in any way our colleagues from, from those war zones. But beyond that, MasterCard had to see what was happening to immigrants, people who had left their lives, their, their whole lives behind in terror and without much perspective. And where to settle what campaign was as much true to the traditional approach as it was innovative uh, because of um, these very simple reasons. MasterCard's reason to be and its modus operandi, if you will, has always been connecting people to priceless possibilities. And the simple phrase, but one that translated in so many ways in time. And the second reason was the innovation of this campaign was linking the problem of a very new specific group of beneficiaries, those immigrants, with assets identified via MasterCard technology and data analytics capabilities. So connecting stakeholders for the best possible outcome. And mm. all of that was done in record time. Because imagine that the, the work had broken out in in uh, in March, and then in less than a couple of months, Mastercard came up with this uh, with this uh, solution, with this product, with this service solution. So again, big congratulations to to the to the Polish team there. Uh, but at the same time, I would like to to also nominate uh, the other campaigns that um, that won this year. I'm talking about uh, apologize the rainbow. See my skin, which was extremely impactful, and obviously a very, a very crazy, uh, creative idea that I liked very much, which is the first digital nation by by the government of uh, Tuvalu, which is a powerful twist as as the met metaverse becomes the one place the country can mm. move in order to survive, and this is again something innovative, completely out of the box, but also executed wonderfully mm. and uh, what projects are you currently working on that you can tell us about um, 
uh, I'm working on on many many projects um, together with my team. So right now uh, we are implementing different projects in all the markets, but I would just name a few uh, that are uh, uh, that are actually happening in 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 the majority of, of our countries. The first one is we have a global premium platform, a global platform actually. It's called Priceless.com. It's a flagship asset for MasterCard for the for the past uh, I would say ten years already. Um, in Romania, we soft launched Priceless.com this year in a special manner manner with a market premiere. We developed MasterCard Premium Collection, our first automated cashback program in the markets, exclusively available to premium card holders. Basically, the program covers all our Romanian banking issuer portfolio and card holders can access the cashback benefits by creating a user account on p.com, on prices.com, and then by enrolling their, <clears throat> sorry, their MasterCard uh, cards, uh, be those gold, platinum, world, world elite, uh, in the programs, um, uh, in the program. And immediately after enrolling their cards, can they start earning cashback when they go out and shop using their cards in more than 100 merchants across Romania? Um, so we, we piloted this program in Romania and we are now moving to other markets. We will be doing this in Bulgaria. We will be doing this in, in Serbia. At the same time, in Israel, we launched another flavor of P.com, which is uh, Priceless Israel. Basically, it addresses a very clear business objective, which is um, bringing tourists into, mm -hmm. into Israel. And hence, we created and curated a, a set of more than 10 Priceless experiences that one can buy, redeem, or get in Priceless Israel, in Priceless.com. Uh, so just by entering Priceless.com and browsing through the different locations, selecting Israel, can you just uh, uh, redeem the offers that we have on Priceless Israel? Um, so this is on, on this is one big regional project that we are very proud of. And uh, we worked um, uh, very closely, not only in marketing, but with all the organization to 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 start this program mm. at the same time i would like to mention one other project in croatia which is called uplift by mastercard um, it's a key initiative for us enhancing the croatia uh, croatian economy through supporting smes uh, uplift provides actually the resources including education mentorship promotional support, enabling entrepreneurs to, to adapt to the digital age. Um, and then I would also mention one project we did in, in Bulgaria, which is called uh, MasterCard Wildlife Passion Cards, which enables cardholders to support the protection of over 2,000 critically endangered species. This is a partnership in between MasterCard and and uh, and SK Bank in 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 Bulgaria, mm. and so on. So we have a lot of uh, initiatives of this kind. Obviously, we are very keen on uh, um, on another activity around ESG in Romania. We are supporting the Riesta Viață, the the first oncological pediatric hospital in Southeast Europe. Um, also, we are partnering with Junior Achievement and Save the Children and Jobs for Ukraine. Uh, so we have this beautiful uh, Center for Inclusive Growth that that um, that is working with all these associations, not to reach business objectives, but to do well by doing good. That's what the company says. Mm. And the list can go on, of course. We do not have the time <laughs> for me to share with you everything that we are doing. So... We need to. Yeah, I, I can tell you're very busy. So before we move to the last question, tell us a little bit how you began your journey in advertising and creativity. Was it something you always wanted to do or just you fell into it? 
uh, I think I think uh, all all the roads led led into it because it was the late nineties. Uh, upon finishing high school, uh, I chose by mistake uh, the journal journalism and communication science faculty, which was newly formed, which had been newly formed at the University of Bucharest. Uh, I didn't know what this was, so I just tried it. Uh, the same way as I tried advertising and marketing, I just tried it. I didn't, I didn't uh, plan for it. Uh, mm. During college, I worked as a tourist guide, mainly for foreign tra uh, foreigners traveling to to discover Romania. And then I worked at the University of Bucharest in the PR department. I then moved to McKenna Erickson, where I where I spent two years before joining Mastercard uh, in two thousand and five. Mm -hmm. And uh, to wrap up, what kind of topics or issues would you like to see addressed in advertising campaigns from brands in the future? Uh, again, if if this this question had come uh, some weeks ago, the answer would have been uh, completely different. And yes, the answer is still uh, about the environment, about caring for the planet. Um, but at this point in time, I need to prioritize and I will choose peace and harmony. And I think these are the themes that we need to, to use more in our advertising, uh, to teach our kids about, um, to promote in our day-to-day -day lives. Um, and, and, and these principles should be the standard for, for living ha a happy life, actually. Mm -hmm. Uh, the other remain there, yes, it's the planet, yes, it's uh, equal chances uh, for everybody. Uh, but at the same time, I think that if I were to choose one main theme for next year, this should be it, peace and harmony for the world. Okay, so let's hope for that. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing this time and, and all your experience and, and career and projects with us. And best of luck with all, all the projects you carry on in the rest of the year and the coming years. Thank you very much for the opportunity and we stay in touch. You know where to find me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.